For tightly constructed homes in southern regions, managing indoor humidity and temperature is essential, particularly to protect homes from excess moisture or dryness when ventilating with fresh air. The Brown ERVS 100 provides a continuous supply of fresh air to the home while exhausting stale air and pollutants, all while managing temperature and humidity. The ERVS 100 can be mounted in the ceiling, in an attic, or in a small closet or mechanical room. Regardless of where the ERVS 100 is installed, there must be a standard three-prong electrical outlet within 28 inches of the unit that must be connected to its own dedicated circuit. You will also want to leave at least a 12-inch clearance for the door, core, and filters to be removed for maintenance. The installation is fast and easy in new construction. All necessary brackets and screws are included with the ERVS 100. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver, a pencil, a level or straight edge, and a drywall saw. The ERVS 100 is designed for installation where temperature is above 14 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year or Zone A on this map. Units installed in Zone B must be installed in a conditioned space. Mounting the ERVS 100 in the ceiling makes it easy for homeowners to perform system maintenance from within the living space. When mounted in the ceiling, the system is installed between 24-inch on-center trusses. The ERVS 100 is designed for optimal installation during the construction phase of a home. Install between trusses prior to the installation of drywall on the ceiling. When installing in the ceiling, the ERVS 100 can be installed with the unit's cover, overlapping the drywall as a flange, or with the unit's cover flush with the ceiling material. To install the unit overlapping the ceiling material, trace a level line on both trusses one half inch from the bottom of the trusses. On the level line on one truss, screw two number eight by one and a half inch screws halfway into the truss leaving 23 inches between the screws. Mount two brackets to each end of the unit using two number 10 by 5 8 inch screws per bracket. Only screw the screws in halfway to allow the brackets to slide for adjustment between the trusses. Hang the lightest side of the unit on the screws mounted on the truss using the larger holes of the brackets. Secure the first brackets installed to the truss using one number eight by one and a half inch screw per bracket in the smaller hole of the brackets. Then tighten all screws connecting the brackets to the unit. Before installing drywall on ceiling, cut a properly sized hole in the drywall to allow the drywall to slide beneath the flange of the unit. Finish drywall normally. The access door and flange can be painted to match the ceiling color. If you're installing in the ceiling with the unit cover flush with the ceiling, the unit installs in much the same way as previously described. When installing one half inch thick drywall, trace your level line on both trusses one inch from the bottom of the trusses. Attach your hanging screws to the trusses. Mount the brackets to the unit. Hang the unit on the truss. Secure the unit to both trusses and secure the brackets to the unit. Cut a hole in the drywall so that the drywall fits around the unit and secure drywall to joists. Attach corner bead to all sides of the hole. Finish the seam with drywall mud prior to painting the ceiling to achieve a finished look. The access door and frame of the unit can be painted to match the color of the ceiling. When the ERVS 100 is mounted between trusses in the ceiling, it should be covered with loose foam insulation. To install the ERVS 100 in the attic, first rotate the backdraft damper 180 degrees so that it falls in the closed position and the word top engraved on the damper is facing up at the top. Mount the brackets to the bottom corners of the unit using two number 10 by 5 8 inch screws per bracket. Secure the unit to the top of the trusses using one number eight by one and a half inch screw for each bracket. For the in-ceiling and attic installations, if the attic is not ventilated and without radiant barrier sheathing, apply insulation material around and over the unit. Just be sure to allow access to the unit door for maintenance. If you're installing the ERVS 100 under the ceiling in a closet or mechanical room, first mount the brackets to the bottom corners of the unit using two number 10 by 5 8 inch screws per bracket. The short side of the bracket should be oriented toward the top of the unit. Ensure that you secure the screws to trusses above the drywall, not into drywall alone. Secure each bracket to the ceiling using two number eight by one and a half inch screws per bracket. 
There are two ways to integrate the ERVS-100 with the air handling unit. The recommended configuration distributes fresh air from the ERVS-100 into the air return of the AHU. In this configuration, the connection should be made as close as possible to one of the AHU return grills to ensure proper functioning of the built-in fresh air damper. In this configuration, you likely will want to install the stale air exhaust registers in a bathroom, kitchen, or living room. If installing a stale air exhaust register in a bathroom, this eliminates the need to add a common bath exhaust fan in the bathroom. The second configuration with the AHU draws stale air from the return ducting of the AHU and distributes fresh air into the living space through registers. Do not connect the system with fresh air from the ERV going into the distribution ducting of the AHU, which can result in condensation issues during cooling season. Do not connect both distribution of fresh air from the ERV and stale air exhaust in the AHU return ducting. Now it's time to install the exhaust or distribution registers. As mentioned previously, you will likely want to install the stale air exhaust registers in a bathroom, kitchen, or living room. Position the registers as far as possible from a stairway and so that the air circulates in the living space. Registers can be installed in the ceiling or on an interior wall 6 to 12 inches below the ceiling. In a kitchen, the registers must be at least 4 feet from any cooking appliances. Never install a stale air exhaust register in a closed room with a combustion device, such as a gas furnace, water heater, or fireplace. If you are using the second AHU configuration, you'll want to install fresh air distribution registers in bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, or the basement. Fresh air distribution registers should be located as far as possible from the ERV stale air registers. Install fresh air registers in the ceiling or on an interior wall 6 to 12 inches below the ceiling. If you must install the fresh air register in the floor, direct the airflow up the wall. Now it's time to install duct work. All ports on the unit should be connected to 6 inch ducts. However, you can connect to larger ducts using appropriate transitions. When attaching insulated duct work, pull back the insulation to expose the flexible duct. Attach the flexible duct to the port using a tie wrap. Pull the insulation and vapor barrier over the joint. Be careful not to tear the vapor barrier. Apply foil tape to the joint, making an airtight seal. Avoid compressing the insulation when pulling the tape tightly around the joint. If using sealing mastic over the foil tape for additional sealing, be sure to use water-based mastic. Flexible ducting is recommended. If you must connect rigid ducting to the unit ports, Use a section of flexible duct at least 6 inches long to avoid transmitting vibrations. Connect the flexible duct to the rigid duct using a tie wrap and foil tape. Never use screws to attach rigid ducting directly to the unit ports. Now it is time to install the stale air exhaust hood and fresh air distribution hood. Consult applicable building codes to determine hood placement. To avoid contamination, ensure the intake hood is at least 6 feet from any exhaust. You also want at least 6 feet between the exhaust and distribution hoods to avoid contamination. The ERVS-100 features an integrated control and does not require the installation of any wall controls. However, separate auxiliary controls that are not included with the unit can be added to meet specific needs. The ERVS-100 can be controlled by a dry contact standby switch if desired, or if required by local building codes. In this configuration, the unit will remain powered on but is in standby mode when the switch is turned on. Be sure to locate the standby switch in a convenient location. When the ERVS-100 exhaust register is located in a bathroom, the product can also replace one bath fan. In this configuration, the unit should be connected to a 20-minute override control in the bathroom. Wire the control switch according to the package instructions. Finally, the unit can be connected to a 20-minute override switch and a standby switch. This configuration allows for operation of the override switch even if the standby switch is turned on. The unit comes with red, yellow, black, and green wires. Regardless of the control configuration chosen, be sure to cap all unused wires. Once the unit is installed and construction is complete, you will want to adjust the unit's controls to the appropriate settings. The unit ships with factory settings in standby mode and with the N humidity setting. 
Never run the unit while the building is still under construction. Remove the door to access the mode and RH controls. The ERVS100 features four available modes. In standby mode, the unit is off but can be activated in high speed by the 20-minute push-button control, if applicable. When the unit is in the intermittent mode, it works 20 minutes per hour in low speed and can be activated in high speed by the 20-minute push-button control. When the unit is in low speed, it runs at 65 CFM and can be activated in high speed by the 20-minute push-button control. When the unit is in high-speed mode, it runs at 105 CFM. To determine the appropriate mode for the unit, consult local building codes and consider the floor area of the home, the number of inhabitants, and local weather conditions. All units are factory set to a relative humidity or RH limit of N. The relative humidity setting can be set higher or lower depending on the home's needs or can be turned off. Before starting the unit, remove the protective cardboard from the door if you haven't already and verify the damper orientation. When the unit is powered on, it will go through a booting sequence. If there's a problem, the LED light will blink. Fast blinking indicates a motor problem. Slow blinking indicates a problem with the RH or temperature sensor. The ERVS100 is now installed and ready for use.